Hello, everybody. First of all, yeah, it's day, let's see, five, I guess, of this robot eye. Um, yeah, it's fun. It's okay. So, what's interesting is so I have this going on. <clears throat> this is, um, I make jewelry and I decided to try to cut. Um, something off of something and <clears throat> yeah I decided to cut my finger instead smart and then this one excuse the finger this one was I had a hangnail and you know smart Lori decided to pull it off myself so that's all this is but anyway um, my day so fun I hope everyone's doing okay um, I'm gonna read up two days worth today um, so yeah that's rock and roll. Oh, I don't have um, Mrs. Flash or Hydro Flash today. I'm sorry. I left her at work. I know it's really sad. I'm kind of feeling a little lonely. Oh, I wonder if my daughter left my sloth. Hold on. Yeah, the sloth. I don't know if you guys have ever had these before. Um. This is a warmie, and you put it in the microwave for whatever, like a minute maybe, and it just gets warm. And it's, this one smells like lavender, so I just, yeah, it's actually Aubrey's, but she's not here. She's at her dad, so you know, I get to have Mr. Sloth, so he can keep me company today. Anyway, ready? So, June 14th, which was yesterday. Every addiction has its triggers. It could be a smell, a person, a location, who knows. Mine is a variety of things. Um, today, it was definitely my daughter bringing up a subject that I don't um, like to talk about around her, and that is anything that has to do with her dad. So, if anyone's watching this that knows me, you already know. Everyone else, I'm not gonna get into it all right now, but I, we don't even talk at all, it's a very, bad situation it always has been and it's just really uncomfortable and I just don't like talking about it in front of my kids it's just not appropriate and I just don't want to so yeah she brought up something and I just got oh like immediately I was like I don't want to deal with this like at all um so yeah long story one that can I can share another time maybe um I didn't or should I say I haven't yet but the urges were real my food intake. So breakfast was a banana with peanut butter and a little agave. Not bad. Um, lunch was like a couple helpings of spaghetti and meat sauce. It was leftovers. Um, then we had a little road trip and I had really seriously three small bites of my daughter's cheesecake. Um, and then I wanted juice. It was like this pineapple, ginger, apple, carrot I think concoction and the place didn't their juicer was broken so I couldn't have any which was rough oh well what are you gonna do um so for dinner I had a salad and then I had this thing of brown rice broccoli like a little beef and then some cauliflower not horrific but probably more than one helping so you know that part of it um it was really good but now I'm extremely full I somehow figured out how to make or take the triggers and spin them to something else. <laughs> I don't even know what I was talking about. Maybe chew gum or bring water literally everywhere I go. I guess those are ideas that I can do. But today's, that's pretty much all I talk about. <clears throat> anyway, so hugs to everyone that was there. Yeah, it was yesterday. So today, June 15th. All right, let me go to the whole thing. All right, so not a good day at all started off not so bad I was just gonna snack on those little granola things that I told you guys about they're like banana chocolate granola all in these little balls um, but then I continued the day with a sub a Diet Coke some french fries dinner I had a couple bites of sushi and then some chicken pizza like a Alfredo I think it was and then I, I had a lot of water though maybe 150, 100, whatever. I had a lot of water, lots of ounces. I mean, that part was good. 
Um, so my day started feeling exhausted, but I immediately wanted to have the mindset of starting the week strong. Then came all of my triggers. Here we go. I tried flicking them off. I always pretend like they're on my shoulder and I can just flick them off um, and making them go away. But soon after they would come back with vengeance and then some. Um, I got angry and lonely, it's a bad combination. Um, and then I was at work. So the phones were really crazy. Work was just really crazy emails. Um, some customers have my phone, cell phone number, so they call me a lot. Um, it's fine. It's just a lot. It just gets really busy. Um, so you would think that like loneliness wouldn't be an issue because I'm so busy, but somehow I find a way. Um, so I read somewhere about this thing called HALT. It's H-A-L-T, which um, is triggers that happens to a lot of um, addicts. And HALT is hungry, angry, which I spelled A-G-R-Y. Anyway, angry. Lonely and tired. Again, bad combo. The problem is that I don't even know that they're happening when it's happening. So when I'm hungry and angry and lonely and tired, I don't even think about it. I just keep going with my day. But in retrospect, like looking back at it, I can totally be like, okay, I can totally remember sitting there and thinking like how angry I am and I'm hungry and like I'm really upset and lonely and I'm extremely tired. Like. I don't think about it though. I don't know if I just get so um, overwhelmed with work that I don't pay attention to it. I'm not sure. Um, so I need, capitalize the need, to find a way to become aware of HALT. Um, that would be a major step. The other issue of my day was my emotions. So my kids were acting weird yesterday and didn't say goodnight, which bothers me. And, um, and I don't know, people were acting weird at work and just weird vibes. And that's, I mean, that's how I perceived it. I really don't think anything was happening. It was just in my head probably. I'm sure everything was fine. Um, I just, I guess, took it as people acting strange. Um, so just negative stuff was just going through my head over and over and over again. Um, so I need to learn how to cope through all of that. And rather than using them to feed, excuse the pun, but feed my addiction um, and make it worse, I need to figure out a way to realize when they're happening and figure out a way to cope um, in a better way, in a healthier way. Um, I know that looking at it now. When it happens, completely different story. But I mean, to know about it, I guess, is a good step. Um, so yeah, the other trigger is when I get overconfident in, oh, I wrote rivalry, which is not even a word. I think it meant recovery. Um, like I'll wake up this morning and think, oh, it'll be a good day. I'll eat well. I'll drink a lot of water. Everything will be fine. And then all of a sudden it all crashes and goes to hell. Um, so yeah, I need to figure out a balance and figure out how to cope without using food. Um, I don't know. I'll get there, I hope. <clears throat> anyway, so I hope everyone has a great day. Um, maybe I'll come on tomorrow. Maybe I will um, do another two day or three day or whatever. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, Sloth and I are going to get ready for bed. Hope everyone has a good night. See you.